1236 on the not so bright display. If Wilkes85 is watching this right now, he will recognize this brand name. He will recognize how Lloyd's is known for their cheapness and having problems. Well, this Lloyd's fits that category. This Lloyd's includes the stereo unit and two speakers. Each speaker has a 4 inch speaker and a complimentary fake tweeter, which is just plastic and not really a tweeter. The stereo looks as if it has a speaker on each side built in, but in reality, even though it even has a mounting bracket for a speaker on the inside, there are no speakers installed on the inside. It's had speed problems and I got it. The belt was dirty and it had wow and flutter and still has some flutter but it is performing better now. So I'll put this cassette inside and turn it on. I think this machine is DC biased because of the background noise. It probably has the other microphone on so let's get another mic. Two microphones. The left microphone is the Clericon microphone. The right microphone is this no-name brand microphone-looking microphone with the silver top. How is the stereo separation? And the Clericon microphone is not the rest of my voice box, but the other microphone is to my mouth. You see all the sounds. What bias is this, Lloyd's? Let's wait a while. Just compare background and with the recorder that I know is RC dead. Stupid cheap broken plastic. Yep, I'm pretty that was with the now this is with the built in microphones right here. It actually has two built in microphones amazingly enough. Oh look how cheap that is. Be sure by background noise content that this Lloyd's is DC bias. The cheap broken plastic. Yep, I'm pretty sure by background noise content that this Lloyd's is DC bias. Okay, now we got volume and balance. We have tone, high and low, wake, radio and buzz, and message. I think that's just their word for an alarm, I guess to make it sound more sophisticated. Actually does have a tape counter, record and FM stereo, actually has a pause, and does, can use, external microphones. Now let's switch it to radio AM. Right. Now there's someone tempting you, but it's gonna be time of fun. We're just gonna have an awesome time of second. Has the car stripped the gold and the silver from the temple to meet the now FM. It's not having to appear on let give me Sorry, Samurai Clinton and Kitty Slasher. Uh, Kenny Slasher, it's just what I do. Right here, the auto dimmer uses a photo cell on there. The light detector, um, it, it's a resistor that, um, that adjusts with the amount of light, and therefore, in the darker areas, the clock, I mean, in darker areas, the clock will be darker, and then in lighter areas, the clock will be lighter. So that, you know, if, if you're in bed at night, 
the clock will automatically be dimmer. We can go ahead and hear how this recorded this song. Pretty good. Stereo DC bias sound, although it actually sounds good. This is the background noise. The audio quality itself is actually good. It's made by Lloyd. Stupid thing. It's made by Lloyd's Wilkes 85. It's made by Lloyd's. Left microphone speak and right microphone speak. It's made by Lloyd's Wilkes 85. It's made by Lloyd's. Left microphone speak and right microphone speak. By Lloyd's. Left microphone speak and right microphone speak. Right there, I put the camera in between the microphones. I mean, the in between the speakers so that the camera's microphones can pick up the stereo better. Hope you enjoyed it. Next, I'll be showing a video of this little cassette recorder.